Hello everyone, welcome back and Happy New Year. Today is January 1st for us. We came out yesterday here to the lake. I got wine in honor of Luna. It says Luna. That's the only reason why I bought this wine. <laughs> Luna. Oh, really? Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Some for the puppies. Looking cool. What about Clyde? Clyde is okay, yellow. We're just here for a couple days. There's no snow down here, which is really nice. It rained yesterday for a little bit, but otherwise it's kind of kind of nice weather. One of the objectives is to get the wood stove hooked up up top. So we'll hike up there today at some point and do that, Steve and I. And but before that, I want to see if I can't get that dock apart. And a lot of people had suggested I use the sawzall to cut those big bolts that are holding it all together rather than the angle grinder. So we'll see if this works a little bit better. So for those of you that don't know what this is for, I am gonna try to make the loft out of these four by fours. So I was thinking either three or four, three or four of them stacked on top of one another. I'd like to try to get 10 foot lengths, at least one 10 foot length over 10 feet so that it can reach beam to beam. If I can't, then I will just take whatever sections I can get that's not kind of rotten and then I will uh, join them together. Another thing is a little bit disappointing. We got here yesterday and we were thinking about getting the hot tub going and someone came and stole all of our water line that we run down to the water and pump up. So it was like three or 400 feet of hose, I think 300 feet of hose with the clamps and the, all that kind of stuff. So there's somebody obviously coming and snooping around and stealing. So that's not very good. I need to wedge this a bit, pry it open a little bit. All of these DeWalt tools are Steve's and the problem is, is that the batteries are all really old so that battery already died. So we have one spare that's here so I'm back up to the cabin charging that one. We'll see how long this one lasts. Yeah, through. Okay, definitely better than the angle grinder. Next!
One down, three or four to go. And I'm gonna keep all the hardware in. So this is gonna be on the outside. It's getting a little bit harder to get the tool in. I, you know, being here on the outside, I had all the room to maneuver. Now that I'm mo moving inward, I don't. Um, I'm really hoping to not cut any of this stuff that I don't have to, because it's all cedar, all these four by fours. Our cedar and I can think of so many things to use them for, for a little project. So I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna struggle to do my best to not cut anything that I don't need to cut. At this point I'm struggling because the wood is compressing the blade and I can't get the blade in. And I don't, I can't find anything around here to be honest other than that one chisel that I'm using but I thought okay, found a couple paint sticks, pair of these down. Anything I do put in there is kind of in the way and in the way of the blade at the same time. So it's kind of a tricky thing. It's coming up. So, but we still don't have the pry bar. Hold on. We're going to tighten it because this way tight. Did you get that one? Yeah, it's, just, it's starting to turn, but I can't turn it all the way because of this. Where is that? Okay. We got two of them apart. What ended up working was taking the wood saw, the hand saw, and sawing in enough to create a space for the blade. That was kind of the biggest issue was that the blade was pinching. Sure, I could have put a wood blade on the sawzall, but that wasn't the point. <laughs> anyway, we got two Ooh. apart, but it's like one o'clock, so we need to head up to the cliff cabin ASAP. Right, Clyde? Okay, we just got up here. Steve is just a little bit behind. He's been cutting some trees that have fallen on the trail and just trying to figure out the best game plan. We don't have a lot of time and having five dogs up here kind of makes it harder to work. It always makes it harder to work because it's dangerous and then they all disappear. So I'm trying to think of the best game plan and I think that take those L brackets off the wood and we'll just slide the whole thing down. I'll take the cap off. We'll slide the three inch pipes out. Oh my goodness, what's so funny. When I had Luna out here, I gave her a treat and she didn't like it. So she went and buried it and now she found it and she's eating it. Anyway, so I'll get the ladder set up. Hi Clyde. Clyde had a hard time getting up. I had to carry him up a bit of the steep parts. Push him up, help him a lot this time. Sorry Clyde. Okay, I just got these, these ones together. Filming this is not very easy. Let's try and, oh, this tripod is broken. Everyone in. Yeah, having the dogs here is a disaster. <laughs> Take all the screws out. Oh, I think the drill is out there. You're okay, Riley. this has been like a bit of a nightmare is an understatement things aren't quite in the same spot that they were before but uh, and I these pipes continually come apart no matter how many times I tap them together with a hammer the way they demonstrate so I put duct tape on them to hold them all together while we get everything back in and then there's leaving all this now duct tape glue everywhere where's Clyde Oh, I'll just go get them. Yeah, I'm like worried about them disappearing. Bringing the dogs was not a good idea, but we wanted to have the hike for them. We're trying to get this, this thing going and it's not, not drafting well at all. Yeah, it just instantly wants to die. Is there a big but it's always, it's always done that ever since I've had it for some reason. Is there any instructions? 
because I tried to test this when we first put it in, really? and this is what it did. It wouldn't. It wouldn't. It would not burn. Yeah, when you shut the door, it just, it just dies. goes out. Like there's no air going to it. Yeah, no matter what we do, as soon as we close this, it just starts to die. That's and all cool. of the things are open. It should be it should be roaring. That's like birch and dry cedar in there. Birch bark. Give the company a call. I said that I would do. I stayed behind. Steve took the dogs down. And I'm like, oh, I just want to try and figure out why this stove doesn't want to draft. And I can't figure it out. It just wants to die. It's supposed to be a foot above the ridge of the cabin, which it is, 12 inches. It's, those are like the main, that's the main thing from what I understand. This is closed. This is open. That's closed. That's open. So all the things are open that are supposed to be open. Yeah. The windows are closed. I don't know. I'll have to call Cubic Mini. Everything burns well when the door is open, like that. As soon as you close it, it starts to die down. And this is open, and this is open. All possible vents are open, and it just sm starts to smolder. We even took the cap off the top. We just took this screen off, this plate and the screen, and now you can really hear the airflow difference. Yeah, that's what we want. Now it's good. So I guess I'm going to leave that grate off or drill bigger holes into it. It just wasn't... I would leave it off, my love. You don't need it. Now it's going. Yeah. Okay. It's like time to go. <laughs> I just loaded those in my truck. I got a few more shorter pieces, but I only could get three because... Mr. Husqvarna won't run for some reason. We're gonna quickly go take that stuff to the base of the sky mule and maybe go down to the cabin and start a fire.
Okay, just gonna leave them st stacked there. I can't tell you how good this feels. Physically, mentally, emotionally, everything. So Steve and I came up earlier today and spent probably at least an hour and a half, two hours, fixing the stove, fixing it in within the boot, within the ceiling, uh, the height. We took the cap off the top and adjusted the inner tube, or like the inner pipe, the three inch pipe, pushed that down a little bit more because we'd had it a little bit too high and figured out the problem with the airflow thing. Such a relief. Obviously this isn't the way it's gonna stay. I now have to, for some reason, it's in a slightly different position than it was before. So I'm gonna have to make some adjustments to my base. So I'm just gonna let this be leave it so that I can use it and let it declare itself down the road. But now that I have the stove going and I'm sealed in with the windows, I can focus on the loft, which is basically just the bed space. It's not going to be, it's just going to be a place to lay and sleep. I feel such a relief for this because for a while there, I was honestly feeling so defeated, feeling so frustrated and it's just hard enough to get out here. It's hard enough to spend any time here that I felt like if I'm just struggling every time I come out here and not getting anywhere, like stuck with a wood stove that won't work and things falling apart. Yeah, I was just feeling really defeated. So I'm really thankful, thankful that I had the help, Steve, to help me with this because you can't do it on your own. Do you want a treat? She likes pig's ears. I can't believe how good this feels. I still need to make that cricket thing though for the roof. I wish I could stay the night, to be honest. I would love to stay the night tonight. It is beautiful. I have, a, I have heat, I have my doggy, but we don't have any food for her and Steve doesn't know I would stay the night, but I'm so tempted to stay the night here. It would be so nice. Next time. Okay, so thank you guys. See you next week. Time to go. Let's go, Henry. Let's take one last look at the view. Just in time. Sad to say goodbye though.